Uh, I'm Ian Graham. I'm the author of a novel called Monument, and I'm just finishing up the prequel to that same book. That's very good news. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I certainly put with the escapism thing. Mm. I think I heard a story, um, it may be apocryphal, that Arthur C. Clarke and C.S. Lewis were having a conversation and um, talking about escapism. Mm. And Lewis says, uh, who would fear um, escapists more than anyone? Jailers. And, ah. and I think there is something true in that. Mm. Um, by indulging in, in escapist fiction, you're sort of renewing yourself. Mm -hmm. And you are getting different viewpoints and you're putting yourself, um, albeit vicariously, in situations you wouldn't ordinarily encounter but have some resemblance to your own, um, say, circumstances in the sense that there are obstacles to overcome and all that sort of thing. Um, I can remember Dave Gemmell uh, saying to me uh, one evening, he asked me what I, what I thought a hero was and I thought, okay, I'll come up with something philosophical and all-encompassing and you know, quite a clever uh, definition. And I floundered rather a lot, and he said the hero is just somebody who's done something heroic. And I think that's certainly at the root of Dave's uh, fiction, in that um, whereas the good morality was there in spades, there's also always a sense that the hero is more complicated than you think. Yes, he may have done the right thing, but he may have done them for the wrong reasons, or reasons that at best were ambiguous. Uh, he may not be the guy in the white hat, he might, mm. he might not be somebody you would want to go to the pub with. And I think I was thinking about this the other night, and um, I wondered why it is when you read um, biographies of people who've done um, very courageous things, their deeds somehow seem less impressive than the deeds of a fictional character. You know, I'm, I'm more impressed by Waylander than I am Ranulph Fiennes, but Waylander doesn't exist, and I think there is something about putting a heroic figure in a novel that on the one hand you're focusing on them more but they're also contained uh, you, you don't feel that if you because you're not going to run into them in real life they don't really have the opportunity to disappoint you and it's I don't know it's quite a difficult thing to explain but I think it makes the heroism more apparent just by um, putting some distance between you and the characters in it if you turn them yeah. into fiction you can observe them better I think 